Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video we will learn how to go ahead and create a task in Outlook 2016 and then assign it also to someone. Alright, to create a task you need to go to the home tab and from there in the new item go ahead and click on tasks. As soon as you click over there It will open this new section and you can then give it a subject name. And I can get subscribe to my e lesson on YouTube. Uh, that, that's a task I'm assigning you. <laughs> All right. And it has a start date which you can give from here. It has an end date which you can give from here. So let the start date is 17th and the end date can be 17th or anything after that. So you can set the status as not yet started in progress. I'm mentioning it in progress because I know while watching this video, you will click on the subscribe button. And the priority you can set from here, highest. And I'm already clicking on 50% completion. You can have a max completion percentage of 100. So I'm making it 50% already complete because you know what needs to be done. Do you need to be given a reminder? I don't think so, but still you can go ahead and choose a reminder date and time from here. All right. And you can then mention details over here, whatever has been done or in case, because once you assign a task to someone, you can, when you're trying to assign a task to someone, you can give as much information. And this section can be also used by the person who has been assigned the task to update more information. He can also use it to mark complete or in case you can also do that as mark complete. All right, you can use this section to assign a task to anyone. And you can assign this task from here to say everyone at the rate google.com, all right? So we are assigning this task to everyone at google.com and you can set a recurrence pattern. It, it, it means that when do you want this course to be, this reminder to be recurring. So it can be a daily, weekly, monthly or yearly option. It can recur every first week or two weeks or four weeks or every Monday, Tuesday, you can choose a day from here. All right, do you want to regenerate a new task? Or would it, thus, would it be the same one? When do you want the recurrence to end? So you can give a end date. If you don't want to give an end date, simply mention after 10 occurrences or after five occurrences or choose an end by date from here. Click OK. It will start reoccurring. I'm clicking cancel because I don't want it to reoccur. From here, you can choose a follow for yourself or add a reminder. And then these are the regular tabs which we have been covering in our course formatting review inserting all this stuff and then just click on send and you are done with your task so this is how we go ahead and create an a task in outlook 2016 and assign it to someone so hope you like this video and please go to myelesson.org to watch such more videos all right, and let me edit it. I made a spelling error. And if you have liked this video, please go ahead and do share a comment in case you have a question. And I'll try to reply to it. If you have a comment, please go ahead and put it across. And do subscribe to the channel because that is the task you have got. All right. So until the next video, this is your Guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.